Hello everyone and welcome back. Web development is a dynamic and ever-evolving field and having the right integrated development environment can significantly impact your productivity and efficiency as a developer. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting your journey in web development, selecting the right IDE is crucial. In this video, we'll explore some of the best IDEs for web development, catering to both both beginners and experienced developers. We'll discuss their features, pricing models, pros and cons to help you make an informed decision. We start first with Visual Studio Code or VS Code for short. VS Code developed by Microsoft has become one of the most popular choices for web developers. Its lightweight yet powerful features make it a favorite among both beginners and experts. It has rich extensions, marketplace for various programming languages, frameworks, and tools, Git integration for version control, IntelliSense for intelligent code completion and suggestions, built-in terminal for command line interactions, debugging capabilities for various languages and frameworks, customizable themes and settings. Visual Studio Code is completely free and open source. It is lightweight weight and fast performance huge extension ecosystem for customization, strong community support and continuous updates suitable for multiple programming languages. And now we have VS Code Cons. Advanced configuration might require manual adjustments, not as feature rich as some specialized IDEs for specific frameworks. Sublime Text. Sublime Text is known for its minimalistic design and powerful features, making it a top choice for developers who prefer a distraction-free coding environment. Features like multiple cursor for efficient editing, powerful search and replace functionalities, extensive keyboard shortcuts for quicker coding, customizable user interface and themes, supports a wide range of programming languages. Sublime Text offers an unlimited free trial, but a license must be purchased for continued use. The pricing is a one-time payment. Sublime Pros Blazing fast performance, minimalistic design aids focus, and extensive community plugins for added functionalities. On the other hand, premium pricing might deter some beginners, lack of built-in features compared to other IDEs. Atom. Atom is an open source text editor developed by GitHub. It boasts a highly customizable interface and vibrant community. Its features contains cross-platform compatibility, built-in package manager for easy plugin installation, GitHub integration for seamless collaboration, smart auto-completion for coding efficiency, Node.js integration for web development. Atom is free and open source. Its pros highly customizable using community created packages and themes. GitHub integration simplifies version control and it is relatively lightweight and beginner friendly. On the other hand, its performance can be sluggish with larger projects, less powerful than some other IDEs in terms of features. Brackets. Brackets is an open source code editor developed by Adobe, specifically tailored for web development. Its features contains live preview feature for real-time website rendering, extract features for pulling design information directly from Photoshop files, extensions for enhanced functionality, inline editing for quick HTML and CSS changes. Brackets is free and open source. It has built-in live preview, streamlines front-end development, user-friendly interface with a focus on web design. On the other hand, it is limited compared to more robust IDEs, may not be suitable for complex backend development. WebStorm. WebStorm developed 
developed by JetBrains is a professional IDE designed specifically for web development. Its features contain intelligent coding assistance for various languages and frameworks, smart navigation for efficient project exploration, integrated tools for testing and debugging, version control integration, powerful refactoring capabilities. WebStorm requires a subscription-based license with different plans available. Its pros comprehensive set of features tailored for web development, strong support for popular frameworks like Angular, React, and Vue.js, regular updates, and excellent support. On the other hand, subscription cost might be a barrier for some beginners, heavier, and may require more system resources. Choosing the right IDE for web development depends on your personal preferences, project requirements, and budget. For beginners, free options like Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, Atom, and Brackets provide a great starting point, offering a balance between features and ease of use. If you're willing to invest in a more specialized and feature-rich IDE, JetBrains WebStorm is an excellent choice. Ultimately, the best IDE for you will depend on your workflow, the languages and frameworks you use and the level of customization you require. Experiment with different IDEs to find the one that aligns best with your coding style and project needs. In this course, I will be using VS Code. If you would like to work on VS Code, this is how you can download the IDE. If you're using Windows, this is how you can download it. Open your web browser and go to the official Visual Studio Code website. I have added the link in the description box below. On the website's home page, you will see a download for Windows button. Click on it to start the download process. Once the download is complete, locate the downloaded installer file in your browser's download folder or the location you specified. The installer file will have a name like VS Code User Setup, the virgin.exe. Run the installer by double click the installer file to run it. You might see a user account control prompt asking for permission to make changes to your device. Click yes to proceed. The installer will launch follow the on-screen instructions to install Visual Studio Code on your Windows machine. You can choose the installation location and whether to add shortcuts to the start menu and desktop during the installation process. Once the installation is complete, you can launch Visual Studio Code. You can find shortcuts in the start menu or on the desktop if you chose to create them during the installation. Alternatively, you can search for Visual Visual Studio Code in the Windows search bar and click on the application. When you launch VS Code for the first time, you will be greeted by a welcome screen. You can explore the interface, customize settings, and start coding right away. One of the strengths of VS Code is its extensions marketplace to enhance your coding experience. You can install extensions for different programming languages, frameworks, and tools. Click on the extensions icon in the left sidebar. It looks like a square with four small squares inside it. To access the marketplace and search for extensions. If you're using macOS, it is the same as before. You just click on download for Mac button, then locate the downloaded file. The file will have a name like vscode.zip. Double click the downloaded zip file to extract its content. This will create a folder named something like Visual Studio Code.app. To install VS Code, simply drag and drop the Visual Studio Code.app folder into the Applications folder on your Mac. This will copy the application to your Applications directory. Once the application is in your Applications folder, you can launch VS Code. You can do this by either clicking on the 
application icon in the applications folder or by searching for Visual Studio Code using Spotlight, press Command plus Space and start typing. If you are using Linux like my case, you can do the following. Using an AUR helper like EA or Picker, open a terminal and enter the following command. This will download and install the pre-built binary version of VS Code from the AUR. Manjaro users can install VS Code from the official repositories using the package manager. Open a terminal and enter the following command. This will install the VS Code package from the official Manjar repositories. Using Ubuntu Software Center The easiest way to install VS Code on Ubuntu is through the Ubuntu Software Center. You can follow these steps. Open the Ubuntu Software Center from your application launcher. Search for Visual Studio Code using the search bar. Click on the result that corresponds to VS Code. Click the Install button to initiate the installation process into your administrative password when prompt. If you prefer the terminal, you can install VS Code using the command line. Open a terminal and run the following commands. This will update the package repository and then install VS Code. Installing VS Code on Fedora is also straightforward using the package manager. Open a terminal and run the following command. This will install VS Code from the official Fedora repositories. After the installation is complete, you can launch Visual Studio Code. You can do this by searching for Visual Studio Code in your application launcher or by running the following command in the terminal. We have reached the end of today's video hope it was useful thank you all for watching and hope to see you all in the next video